wanted to show you something cool. I did a little film in here before and I actually got closer to them before than this, but I, that was before I was doing YouTubing. I want to show you these neat buffaloes. See right there. Whoops, whoops. I'm gonna stand here too long. Very small little perch. I might have to get back down. Let's see if I could uh Buffalo do not feed. I have no intention of doing that. Uh, I might blur it out. All right, see if I can get a better. Uh, I could try getting back in that wood thing again because I want to show a good. Uh, show you guys all this. This is so cool. Yeah. Okay. I could do this for a while. There's another one right there. It's the American buffalo. I guess I might say it's a bison too, but buffalo is so much more cooler. few times they come around here they always um you can't see them or they're you can only see part of them now it's not as good because that one they're kind of in a bad angle now but there's another one oh where is it another one there and then there's another one there there's also some uh cows over there or bulls I can't tell they're the same section. I think they are. And then it looks like there's a might be a baby buffalo right there. But these are the stars of the hour. One time there used to be vast herds of them here in the US. Of course, us the idiots that some people are almost um, almost eliminated them for their hides and their well their, their meat but mainly for the hides. You ever watch like the movie Wyatt Earp, uh, the one that Kevin Costner was in? It gives a good example of um, what I'm talking about. When I had to pull out the photos I had taken with um, some buffaloes, I wasn't right up um, with them, but um, I did get pretty close, so it was pretty cool. Oh, and there's another one. Where is it? Right there. And it looks like it's on another side of the fence, so he might be able to go over there, or he's separate for a reason. I think he, let me see if you can see him. Yeah, you see him right there in the middle? Yeah, that's a big boy there. That's a big ass animal. I'll try to get some pictures taken too to show you. You can tell by looking at the ground, they actually come right up here against the fence. See when you can see the way that um, the dirt is all mussed up and stuff. So they do come pretty close. Yeah, it looks like they have some cows mixed in, or cattle, or bulls, whatever you want a technical term. And I 
think, don't quote me, but some of the um, cows here in Florida, I think they call them Florida crackers. Because I've seen something about that, that uh, and I don't remember it. I've seen something about it at Gatorland, and I think one or two of the history museums I went to, that they talked about the history of that. I could be wrong, this has been a while. down. You know, that's supposed to get up to the fence. I'm going to do it. I think as long as they're over there and I'm over here, it's pretty safe. Where are you? It's kind of hard. It's, it's hard to see in the little screen with all the sunlight. Now he's on the other side of the bush. that okay so you could go over there and mix up with the other one looks like there's fence poles over there I could be wrong or maybe it's just little trees and it gives you the um, illusion that there's a fence if there could have been a fence there at one time they just opened it up there's another one over here where is he oh, unfortunately he's behind the mound that's the problem this isn't exactly flat earth so they could easily disappear If you look on the ground, see, it's like a path down here. I don't know how well you could see it, so they do walk around here. Oh, look at that. Look at that. Um, look at him. Look at those horns. Jeez, can you imagine? How, well, I was going to say how much they weigh, but I actually I think they're hollow. I don't think, I don't think, it, I don't think it's solid, so... But still, can you imagine having that on your head? That's some sort of bull or something. It looks like there's um, a couple smaller ones with them. So that might be a mama. So it looks like they're yeah they're in the same enclosure with the buffalo, so they must get along pretty well. But the buffalo definitely outweighs them. Now, if you want to know where this is, if you want to check them out yourself, they're in Auburndale at the flea market. Um, oh darn, and like an idiot, I don't remember what this flea market's called, even though I've been here more than once and I have filmed. International Marketplace, I think, something like that. I think this flea market has a website, so I'll see about putting it below. I have filmed here before, some of the different animals. Uh, they have alligators and other things like that. So I'll be, um, I'll see if I'll put a link to that too if you want to check it out. Either I'll put it below or I'll put it as a, what do they call it, annotation or card in this video so you can click on it right away. You know, if I remember correctly, in May, um, YouTube's getting rid of annotations. I guess they're not being used that much anymore. I'm not sure how much area they have here, but it looks like it's a pretty big area. And I, through, looking through the bushes and the trees, I think, well no, that might just be bushes. I think I can see some more of them. I don't know how many of them are here. Where'd they go? Gotta zoom out. There he is. show you this is where it is pretty cool and uh, it's in the back of the flea market they're actually closing uh, they close at 4 I'm a little, a little bit after that 
but it's back in the uh, corner. If you're facing towards the flea market, is the um, it would be the back left corner. Now over there, there is an animal rescue place, um, Genesis Zoological Rescue, something like that. It's called, and I should know, but I'm horrible at remembering names. But I filmed videos there three or four times. Uh, check them out. They only require like a small donation to um, walk through. It's a small rescue, but they do a lot of good work. And you can always use donations, either um, money or supplies. And uh, check my channel for that too. I'll try to put all these. You know what? I'll try to put all these links below for what I'm talking about. But um, if you want to check out the buffalo or um, those bulls over there and watch them, they're quite cool. And I wish I can get a better angle to the group over there because. bit more situated. I actually wasn't planning on uh, recording these. I dropped off a um, food donation to that um, rescue. I happened to see them out more. It's usually they're, at least when I come around, which I, am, I don't come around here very often when I'm passing through, but um, they're usually uh, too far back or behind something. So I can never get, a, get them in a Good angle of film. Anyways, that's where they are. I'm not supposed to be this close, but uh, you just have to if you want to film it really good. And standing in this pole is kind of um, not the easiest thing to do. Anyways, this is where they're at. If you have any questions or comments, uh, let me know. Always happy to answer your questions, and um, yeah, I appreciate uh, you watching, everybody. I know our time is valuable, and that you took some of it to watch this video means a lot. Looks like oh, this is cool. They for some reason they have these like looks like little steel girders, maybe you put in a building. I don't know. Wait a second. Before wait one more minute before I go. You see. Let's see over here. Okay, it looks like I can get a little bit better angle of this one quickly. I'm trying to do this to the fence. Look at him chewing. Mmm, that's some tasty grass. I would have brought my tripod, but like I said, I wasn't planning on being here. And when you zoom in, if you just zoom in just a bit, or as to say, if you just move just slightly, it moves the whole thing. It's kind of hard. But I heard that there's some programs or something with the cameras you can do. Let's make that easier, which I've done some through, um, YouTube uh, editor thing, but uh, there's some programs you can do that before that. Anyways, I'm not going to go on to that now. I can zoom in a little bit more on his head. Wait a minute. I'm trying to hold steady. Wow. Well, anyways, there he is. Pretty cool. All right, I probably went on more on this than I really needed to, but uh, here it is. Again, like I said, any comments or questions, please let me know. Thanks for watching. I hope everybody has a nice day, and I hope you enjoy this video. Check out these buffaloes and those, um, I don't know, bulls over there, cows, whatever you want to say. All right, we'll do a video again soon, and um, hope you all have a nice day. Bye, everybody. Bye.